Welcome to Cebu. We're still in the airport, the Cinemoc Festival. Yeah, the Cinemoc Festival is going on. We are gonna stay here for four nights. And this is still the airport. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like in downtown Cebu, which is where our hotel room is. We'll show you here in just a little bit. Get to the hotel, show us a little tiny room. Everything was pretty well booked out by the time we got around to booking. So, you know, sometimes you wait till the last second and it's uh, not a good choice. But either way, we did find a place. We'll show you it uh, here in just a few minutes once we can kind of coordinate with a grab to get to the hotel. All right, upon further kind of executive decision, we just realized there's a Jolly Bee right here at the airport. And with the chaos of the festival, you just have no idea what kind of traffic jams or, or what the life is going to be like. So we're going to step into Jollibee, uh, get a little bit of substance in our tummies before we kind of head into the city of Cebu. Jollibee. All right, Jollibee's total success. A couple of cheeseburgers, a cheese dog, some chicken. Kelly got spaghetti, but there's meat on it. So maybe we can like pick, pick, pick it out. It's going to be a great little time. We'll have full tummies. Mom doesn't eat her spaghetti, I will. Yes, that's, uh, I like that silver lining, Cedar. All right, so we'll slam all this, head to the hotel. Jolly Bees hit the spot. So now we are taking, is it one of these yellow taxis? Yeah, right. All right, we're taking uh, one of these yellow taxis, negotiated price in advance. I used the Grab app to essentially see what the Grab price was and use that as my sort of my negotiating tool. And they agreed to go with the Grab price, so it should be, no problems, uh, as far as I'm aware. It's our first time really utilizing one of these airport taxis. So we'll see how it goes. Hello! Yeah. All righty, okay, so, uh, so far so good. All right, so we are staying at the Prime Way Suites uh, here in Cebu. And it's really this multi-use building. There's a Starbucks, there's a pizza place, there's a laundry mat right here. Thank goodness that charges by the kilo not by piece so it's going to be much cheaper to do laundry uh just right basically we take the you're in the parking garage and you ride the elevator up to the to the place on the third floor uh but yeah it looks great we'll definitely explore this plaza uh hopefully we can get into the room get settled it is nighttime uh but there's this big like central circle that we're going to go check out okay forrest hop off buddy you got it okay Got it, okay, yeah. A bit of a tight squeeze, but uh, we're there. Just stepping out the elevator, the lobby looks nice. By the way, I wanna show you Forrest's new ride. Hello. Hello. He uh, discovered that on, on the airport, just out of nowhere, he jumped right onto the uh, suitcase and uh, he's making it work. So we're gonna get checked in, show you the room, and again, hopefully explore the town just a little bit this evening yet. The nice part finally is the room is like right here by the elevator. So we don't have to walk out forever and ever and ever. Uh, now, I did ask if they could uh, potentially bump us into a bigger room. And because of the festival, like all these hotels, they're just totally booked out. So we are going to be a little cozy in here. And that's okay. We'll make it, uh, oh, there we go. We'll make it as, uh, you know, we'll make it as good as we can. Whoa. Whoa, all right, Forrest, you like the room? <laughs> yes, okay. So this is the room. We guys want to flip those lights on. Whoa, whoa, there we go. All right, so we got basically a queen size bed and a single. Now I did pay guys an extra $10 a night. Yes. They're going to bring a mattress. Oh, good. So we are gonna have one mattress space like right here, I imagine. So that'll be good. We'll, we'll all get spread out. Maybe it'll be like me, Kelly Forest, Granite, Cedar, or Cedar Granite, some such thing like that. Uh, view out the window is, well, it's kind of cool. You got like a, uh, a hard patio here and then uh somewhat of a city view but uh yeah good the window does lock that's good uh but it, it looks like an accessible balcony but either way the windows uh 
nice and locked. We have a safe over here. And how's the bathroom look, Cal? Yeah, good. Good? Yeah. I mean, listen, it's, uh, it's festival time. We're only here for four nights. Uh, we'll make it work, so certainly a nice toilet. Good size bathroom, rain shower head. Uh, no complaints there. Shampoo with conditioner, body wash. They do not provide free water uh, in the hotel. So guys, they were telling us they do not provide free water bottles, but they have a water filter system right in the lobby. So we would go out there with our own bottles and use the filtered water. Oh, or, but we're in this whole plaza. I imagine there's a grocery. Yeah, you can buy water that way. All right. So once the bed gets here, we'll get this whole thing set up, but it's like this kind of one room living for uh, quite a few nights. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? We're trying to figure out You excited water. to sleep on the floor? Yeah. All righty, yeah. woohoo. Okay, we'll get it all set up and then get back with you here in just a few minutes. Time to explore the town. Our elevator's right back there. And already, this place is pretty sweet. Uh, David's Tea House, looking really popular. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Just Huge like menu. tons, tons of food. Uh, what do we got, pizza? Oh yeah, nice looking pizza. So Yellow Cab Pizza Company, Buffalo Buffalo Wings Granite. Yeah, that's good. All right, and the pepperoni, I bet it's pork pepperoni. Uh, obviously a Starbucks, we pointed that out earlier. So Starbucks, tea, Chinese I'm thinking, beef. Yeah, all right here at the hotel. I mean, not affiliated with the hotel, but it's that multi-use building that's just so cool. All right, another cafe across the street, ramen shop, another coffee shop. So you have one, two coffee shops plus the Starbucks. Sweet. Yeah, and the ramen, the ramen shop. Yeah, ramen shop right there. So the uh, Prime Way Suites in the room, they brought the other little bed. Maybe I can show you that at the end, but it's, yeah, it's just a little bit on the floor. Um, there is no tea kettle in the room. So it's pretty a pretty basic room. But it's yeah, it looks clean. It's yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's actually a fairly new building as, as I understand it, our hotel anyway. And uh, but you have all these coffee shops right downstairs, so it wouldn't be any big deal to actually in the morning drop off our laundry at that uh, laundry mat right there, grab some coffees, yeah. go back up to the room, wake the kids up. So anyway, we're gonna yeah, hit the streets. So we're gonna do that now. Now the primary festival doesn't start till Saturday, Sunday, and it's Thursday now. So we got about. Well, tonight, I guess technically like one day to really sort of explore before it just gets crazy. Uh, you were telling me, Kelly, you read an article, all the, all the yeah. hotels are booked out. All the three and four star hotels are booked in the city, according to the newspaper. Yeah. And, um, and most of the, like, the one star are like 80% booked. Oh, wow. So okay. Like nothing available right now. Yeah. So I'm glad we got in. We, did. we actually booked this pretty late last minute, too. So I'm pretty thankful we got the room. Fruit stand right here. So uh, that Yay. wouldn't be bad. Yeah, coffee and fruit in the morning. Yes, so they're good. Jump over the puddles. He's gonna slip on his butt, I bet. All right, so right now we're gonna work our way, just basically turn left at the street corner and uh, head right to the right to the circle. There's a pharmacy right back by the hotel too, so any of those needs will be met that way. But you can see a busy intersection. And this, I think, is one of the primary spots. Oh, there's a, is that a Jolly Bee right here? Yes, I got a, got a Jolly Bee. That's not a surprise, actually. Okay, I see a McDonald's. Certainly a Jolly Bee. Okay, this is actually a whole other strip. Okay, so Robinson's, I believe, might be a, might be some kind of grocery store. So a big grocery store, Jolly Bees, and this is like C and B scene out here in this circle. Christmas lights. I think it was just a loop. Okay. Of course. I like that this was a crossover. Yeah. Yeah, at the busy bridge. streets, you can actually Go up take it up over and down. Oh, another Pizza Hut. Pete, yeah, it's his uh, McDonald's Pizza Hut. More pharmacies, more Chinese food. All right, let's take a lap. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it is. This is going to be a good spot. And again, this is the place where I believe it's going to get pretty crazy on Saturday and Sunday for the festival. Yeah, so Rose. Robinson's, I believe, is like a grocery store. Oh, At least some kind of little com we'll get our complex in there. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, so the room, I don't know if I said this on video or not, but they don't have free water bottles either, but they have a free, like, water can. You can go and, like, fill up your own bottles. So we might actually bring some bottle, buy some bottles of water, bring them back to the room. But yeah, this is uh, certainly a 
party zone right here. There's certainly some music going on. Yeah. Sort of inaudible. All right, well, we're getting closer to whatever it is. Maybe it's one of the taxis. So we'll cross over the street here and see if there's anything else really to the circle. Okay, not the bus. Oh, it's the stairwell. All right, well, a little bit of street food here. Okay, just one or two little vendors, not much. So I guess this is just a prelude to the uh, to the festival. Welcome to Cebu, baby! Woo! Party Central. Boris got those dance moves going. Nice. All right. Well, I think it's gonna be one major party coming up, and if I'm not mistaken, it's just like this entire street is going to be festival right up to this uh this main circle so that's awesome yeah the hotel location couldn't be better for that kind of stuff but it's going to be uh yeah granted it's going to be quite the party yeah. should be uh should be good times all right so we'll go back it's kind of dark up here we'll go back down we'll continue to make our way around the circle we've worked our way about halfway around the circle and now we're really kind of getting the idea. So in the center of this big old roundabout is where the uh, the party scene is. So there's like a massive kind of thing going on. There's some security up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera. But you can see this is it, the Cinderlog 2023. So we are now officially in the circle. There's some kind of band going. There is just like tons of street food going on. Well, I, mean, I wouldn't call it street food, more like carnival food. Maybe we can grab some snacks while we're here. But there's right now, okay, right now there's a bunch of guys playing xylophones, uh, as I can see it. You guys ready for some xylophone action? All right, so back here, really, this is just like the free party. It's only Thursday. You can see. It's all xylophones. Four guys up there playing xylophones. And again, you're surrounded by all, this, all these people, all this food. There's grab booths, there's bank booths. It's going to be, yeah, definitely an epic party coming up. Oh, they people know this song. Kind of crowd interactive. There are so many good looking vendors. What do you think, Kelly? Uh, this is a lot of meat. A lot of meat. Stick. Now there is tofu. There are a couple of tofu places. Let's step up and uh, pick, the, pick the meats you might want. Hello. Hi. I take a plate. How does it work? Should I, I just take or do I put them on a plate? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So, granite, cedar, load up. All right, good, good. Cedar going with a uh, hot dog. A little bit that way. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, let's see what else we got. Chicken, chicken. Uh, chicken, yeah, chicken thigh. Yeah. How about, how about, how about one of these? Have yeah, one chicken thighs. Bone. Yep, the one on there, granite. Oh, that's with the bone, okay. How about, let's see, let's go with one of these as well. Should we take this one out because it has bones Uh, nah, it's okay, why not? We'll take them both. What's, uh, sir, what is this one here? Pork, pork? Beef, beef. All right, yeah. two pork, two pork. Okay, all right. You think that's a, a good variety? Yeah. Okay. How about uh, you? We get four of those cheesy hot dogs next door. Okay. All right. Cool. You got kind of a, a meat plate. Okay. See what the total is here. Number three. Oh, number three. Okay. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. Uh, no. Yeah, maybe we dine in. All right. Take table. Five. Five. Yeah. Do you want to eat pounding rice? What's that? Pounding rice. Sure. Uh, like one, one serving. One serving. Yeah, one serving rice. Five, How five. about drinks, sir? Uh, drinks, uh, mineral water. How much is mineral water? 30 pesos. 30? Okay, we take uh, two. 30 pesos for the water. Is that 30 pesos everywhere? Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, so maybe it's not fixed price. But yeah, we'll take two here for 30 pesos. Okay, sir. Inside here, sir. Yeah. Yo, yo, sir. Okay. 
Cal, let's granite, granite, and cedar. Where's cedar? You guys go with this lady. She'll get us to your table. Three hundred twenty closer. All right. Yeah. Total price is what? Three hundred twenty. 322 pesos for the plate of meat, the waters, the rice. While our meat platter is cooking, Forrest really wants a cheese dog. So you got these uh, lucky cheese dogs, cheese on the inside. Okay, ma'am, one cheese dog, please. 25. Yes. Just with ketchup is okay. Yeah. All right, so they got cheese those like kicking right here. Bread. Yeah, you got it. Looking nice. Do you want hot bread, sir? Or sure, whatever you recommend. So it looks like they got some steam buns in the back versus I kind of not steamed up front. So uh, we got the time. We'll get that the hot bun. She said, oh yeah. So she's got a whole steam bag process right back there. Yeah, you definitely want your bun steamed. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Have a good day, thank you. All right, got the dog for Forrest. Nice steam bun. Our plate of meat has shown up. You can see it's all grilled now. They added some kind of like, um, they must have basted it on the grill. Kelly, you're back. I'm back. I was just gonna say, Kelly stepped out to uh, get vegetarian. What'd you find? Well, I think I found tofu. Che yep. Cheese tofu nice. on a stick. Um, and then she said these are vegetable balls. I said vegetable with seafood. Is this and vegetable she said, no, or vegetable? No she said no meat. Let's okay, mix cool. It, so I'm I'm gonna give it a go. Woohoo! All right, so we yeah. got veg covered. So, yep. The rice. There was a little confusion on the rice, but okay. I, we did pay for the rice. Uh, so the rice comes in these little baskets. So that, that oh, can be for you. I like that, okay, yeah. Granite Cedar, grab your rice. What I saw was people putting the black sauce, probably soy sauce, in this little dish with the um, chilies. Okay, so and the soy sauce in. Okay, cool. I watched some other people doing that. All right, did you hear that, Granite? No. Your, your soy sauce can go, your, your vinegar can go in here. Uh, we got meat galore. Wow. That's like a chicken. Here's the chorizo, I believe. All right, Cedar, do you want the hot dog? All right, here's a hot dog for Cedar. Yeah. Forrest is going for his. You're welcome, Cedar. Do you want one of these little porks on a stick too? Maybe. Okay, I'll set it here if you want to grab it. But we have plenty, plenty. Yep, yep. You want that one, Granite? Sure. Do you want one of these porks? Yeah, that's All right, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, bud, I got your arm. You want a hot dog with a stick? Okay, this is sausage though. You wanna try it? Yeah, here you go, babe. Okay, so it's interesting. They put basically plastic over all these plates. It's actually a pretty nice system. So you just, oh, he's not a, not a fan of the chorizo. That's okay, more for me. Yeah, plastic over the plate so you don't dirty the plates. They just basically take the plastic off, discard it. Dishes out here right. without water, right? right. Without that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this vinegar route you're suggesting. Vinegar. I just saw someone doing it, so. Into the bowl with the chili. Obviously, we're gonna squeeze in the. Uh, calamansi, I think. The calamansi. Woo! Oh, there's the seeds. All right, awesome. Nice. Okay, guys, everyone got their meat on a stick? Cheers. cheers. And tofu. And tofu. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Cheers. cheers on that one. <laughs> Boris going to town on his little hot dog. All right. Give this a try. Woo! Very sweet. Is this a that kind of chorizo on a stick? Granite, how's the chicken? Or is that that might be pork even? How is that? Very sweet and very good. Yeah, you, delicious. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cedar, you're about halfway through your hot dog. How's it go? Nice. Now remember, we have more. We got chicken. We got pork. So it's totally whatever you're interested in having. I love that you just sort of grab the meat and stick it on a plate and then they grill it for you. It was only 300 pesos with the rice. So I got this here. Mm. Wow. It might, no, not at all. It might be the marinade, but it's very sweet. This is like a pounded, uh, pounded chicken. I was going to pull the stick right out of that. Kind of got the leg and the thigh. Right into the vinegar. Woo. There we go. Mm. Yeah, that's delicious. It looks sticky. Is it like sticky and sugary? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Just delicious. So this tofu, I'm gonna bite a little piece off so you can see it. I really hope it's tofu. I think it is. It looks like it's stuffed with cheese. It's stuffed with cheese, the orange stuff, but it's a texture that, um, is not 
it's really dense, actually, and spongy. Almost like a, I want to say chicken nugget texture, so I'm hoping to that it's tofu. Tofu-y, tofu. chicken-y, nuggety. It, tofu. it looks like tofu. It doesn't taste like meat. Yeah, like I, bet, I, bet, meat I bet it's tofu. But, yeah, they seem to know their, their business with the tofu. Yep. But yeah, this chicken piece, I'm going to change the strategy now. Kind of do a, like a pour over with the vinegar. There we go. Maybe you can snatch up one of these little chilies. There we go. Uh, an orange, an orange vinegar chili bite. Let's see how that goes down. Good luck. <laughs> Did you say good luck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good luck, Dan. Oh, ma'am. Did you get the chilies? Woo. <laughs> Granted, that up the heat factor quite a lot. <laughs> you want you want a little chili? No, there's. Wow. You know when you can't talk? <laughs> that's some good chili. Yeah. Now I recommend that the pour the vinegar over because now it's like all sopped up on my plate. Oh right. A whole lot of vinegar there. Mmm. Yum. I'm gonna try this vegetable um, ball, but it looks like it has green chilies all. Yeah, that's in gonna it. be a nice one. <laughs> so. We'll see how hot that room really right. is. Okay, I'll try it without the sauce first because the sauce has a little bit of a kick to it. It's like a maybe like a oh, sweet, yeah. and sweet chili good. sauce, but it, it it does have a kick. Tell me how spicy it is. It's that same texture. Interesting. It's almost like I don't know. It's really dense and I don't know. It doesn't taste like tofu to me, but. That has a good vegetable flavor. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I bet you're in uh, good company there. Yeah. So if this is really uh, veggie, uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're good to go for yeah. the next few days. Now, we this again, this is Thursday, and the main festival is Saturday, Sunday, so I can't imagine how packed this place is going to be in a couple of days. Just not, You can see the line of people just trickling in right now. Okay, Cedar, would you like another? Would you like a little pork stick? Should be good. Right, yeah, yeah, if you like it. It's all okay. fat on the bottom of the top. Eat the whole thing. Maybe. Or just the top, it's up to you. <laughs> like a beef jerky. Yeah, it's like a pork jerky. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Good flavor? Yeah, I mean, it's meant to eat the whole thing. I know there's a big old chunk of fat on the bottom. Fat is flavor, as they say, but that's a lot of fat, a lot of flavor. How is this? Is this spicy? No, I, I mean the chili. Yeah, go for it. The vinegar is good. Okay, I thought maybe the I'll chili put the itself vinegar. is spicy. And Forrest is just slamming his bun. How's the bun? Yeah, thumbs up on the bun. Oh, it's a good. That's a good sauce. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I haven't had vinegar because it comes with all the meat. Yeah, having it with so, the tofu. I've been eating a lot of peanuts and stuff. That's good. Oh, but, <laughs> this is true. A lot of peanuts. But with the tofu ball, this is gonna be great. All right, I'm gonna dig into one of those little rice packets now. Or Kelly, you gonna do it? Oh, I'll put cool. It. I wonder how you, I guess, peel it apart, huh? It's so like neatly woven together. I feel bad. Actually, oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah. So oh, you, you unwind it. it. Woo! I and maybe, uh, maybe you can put it on. Uh... I'll put it on your plate. Oh, okay, thank you. And then you can just sop up your uh, all the sauces with it. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yep, try not to touch it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's hand. okay. All right, so now it's a big chunk of rice. It'll be interesting, it's cold, certainly dense, like a big, thick rice cake, really. Get it with the vinegar. Just a plain rice, dense flavor. Just mm. a way to sop up all the good flavors, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're gonna spend another couple of minutes knocking out all this meat and rice and all the good stuff. So we'll catch up with you here in just a little bit. And after all the meat on a stick, it is time for some boba tea. Hello! Awesome, they just served them up. I'm excited to hear what you think of them. Yeah, point the side down. There you go, you got it. Milk tea. Mm. Yummy? It's really good, yeah. Yeah, Kelly, here you go. Thank you. One for me. All right, the old taste test, kid approved, Cal. The kids loved it. Oh, good. I haven't tried it. Here it goes. Ah, uh, a sweet treat. Sweet tea. Yeah, it's really it's nice. Sweet tea with chewy. Yeah, jellies. milky and a ton of the jellies. Mm -hmm. 
It's good. Mm. Yum, got one. Yeah. Yum, that is good. Yeah. All right, well, we'll uh, enjoy these teas and uh, kind of keep venturing around. But right now, Thursday, it's a great night to be here because it's not slammed. No, it's not slammed. I hear yeah. rumors have it. It's going to be crazy. Uh, going to so be crazy, no doubt. Right now, just in case we can't can't handle the crowds later. Yep. All right, so we'll get these and uh, we'll finish these and uh, continue walking around. All right, so we haven't clearly left the party, but we are now at Robinson's. It's this big, huge mall uh, right across the street. And we're down in the basement at the grocery store, just yeah. grabbing some supplies for the road. It's always nice to have extra toilet paper, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, uh, Q-tips for the ears. And then a place like this, you know, you can grab uh, little snacks. Forrest is hyped up. Yeah. Okay, Forrest? Extra All right. Paper. Okay, so we only have uh, eight minutes before they close the store. They actually started shutting the lights off, so we gotta wrap it up. But uh, okay, we'll find quick little snacks for the room, and then that'll be it. We'll show you uh, one last look at the room, and that'll be a video. But right now, we're gonna wrap up here at the grocery store. All right, everybody, it's officially bedtime, but I wanted just to give you one last look at the room to show you the sleeping arrangement. So me and Kelly and uh, our, our good old buddy Forrest, we made it into the bed after all. <laughs> uh, Granite, how's it going over there? Good. Yeah, you're all tucked in, ready to go. And then Cedar, how's that bed down there? Good. It looks comfy. Tomorrow, me and Grandma are gonna switch, switch because we made up this like shower game. So I'm odd and Granite's even. Yes. Tomorrow, I get something that bed. Yeah, so on even days, Granite gets first shower in this bed. And then on odd days, Cedar gets for sure. first shower and the bigger bed so that's how they're going to handle all that good on them for <laughs> kind of getting creative that way but either way uh big days uh coming ahead we're very pumped to explore cebu and uh enjoy the festival as it unfolds over the next uh, multiple days yeah. all right everybody what a look uh first look here into cebu and we will uh, see you in the next episode all right just a little add-on we got our laundry done a mountain of laundry five people's worth uh, right here from the uh, neighborhood wash service, just like a step off the elevator. 225 pesos for all this laundry. That's about a deal, a deal and a half right there. So easy to get laundry done while you stay at the Primeway Suites. Just a quick add on, so about the room. So we've already shown it's a pretty small room. The kids right now are having a little downtime. We just spent the day uh, filming. So this is kind of the next day. But I wanted to show you how this hotel accommodates workspace, because right now, with the TV on, the kids on iPads. It's just a little bit of a tight quarters. So here in the lobby, they have a whole workspace, bunch of tables set up. They've got plugs, all of that. And then we're just editing and you doing okay, Cal? Doing good. Good. So just like you can see a little a workstation or right by the room, so if the kids need anything, they just kind of open up the door and be like, mom, dad. And we kind of deal with whatever the situation might be. But uh, yeah, this is how we're gonna handle the work for the next couple of days um, while we're here. So just a little add-on here about the work.